you believe what you think sometimes for example if i if my thought is gonna tell me that i'm ugly if you believe that if you believe in your own thoughts in your own self then you are ugly like i'm sorry but hello hello guys so today is again um our jesus talk day and yeah our topic is trust so trusting in god and just walking in faith and just you know yeah so mm -hmm. that is our topic and yeah i hope you're gonna like this video and also if you have some um topics for us to talk about just put them in the comments and then we will talk about it so yeah let's, let's get started. started so what you think when you just in general think about trust um, so trust is like so important especially um if you have a relationship with god if you don't trust god then who you gonna trust like um i hear so many people saying like trust in you trust in yourself and uh, i only trust myself um but no like don't trust yourself trust jesus and not yourself because it's gonna lead to a lot of suffering and to a lot of sins if you trust yourself um because only god knows what is the best for us and not myself so trust in yeah. god if you do what is right for you and not what god wants you to do then you're gonna end in a lot of suffering, a lot of mistakes. Of course, God is gonna put you there in the right position, but trusting yourself is uh, very dangerous and um, it's not talked about it that much because I feel like when we're younger, we always got told like, trust yourself, like do what's good for you, like do what feels right in your heart. But honestly, I don't even trust myself. I don't follow my heart, I follow Jesus. And also in Genesis chapter six, verse five, um Jesus is actually telling that our heart is deceitful that we should not trust our thoughts and Jesus mm -hmm. saw that our hearts are deceitful first of all don't trust yourself trust God maybe now we can talk about like the difficulties of trusting God because I feel like you know you can just easy tell everybody trust trusting God as my sister said trust is like not only very important but sometimes very difficult it can be very difficult um because we don't know god's plan we don't know what he has planned for us so sometimes it can be very difficult and you're saying okay but you know god like what do you what what is your plan with me mm -hmm. also praying is like very important if you truly are struggling just pray pray for trust i feel also like um trust is more than what you see because you cannot see jesus plan you cannot see jesus like he's not what you see but what you feel and what you hear and therefore like trust in jesus is just something sometimes so far from us because we don't know jesus plan like he we don't see the like jesus plan we don't see him we just feel him and just feel the holy spirit and therefore trusting and Jesus is so far sometimes and just so hard, especially when you have very, very difficult times and you're suffering. I also have a Bible verse that everybody actually knows. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. It's so important, especially what the verse is saying. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. So trust in the Lord and do not lean on your own understanding. So do not lean on what's yeah, right for you yeah so do not say oh yeah that's right for me i'm gonna do it do what jesus is gonna gonna tell you and so just do not lean on your own understanding always Pray. walk in faith i feel like also faith and trust is a very similar thing i mean faith is like something also um you're putting faith in something that you don't see that you don't know where God's leading you but you still know that he's there you still know that um in faith he will make everything right so faith doesn't always mean that God would change your situation but sometimes it means that he changed you so in faith maybe he will change you in a so different person and also in trust and I feel like if you trust in God he will make like a 360 out of you also when you trust in him so many good things are coming like I just put all my trust in my faith in god i know that everything i'm going to be is in god's will so when it comes to trust um because praying means you aligning your will with god's will because therefore it's also very important to just 
you know, praying God's will and not our wills. I also said um, it can be very difficult um, to trust in God. Um, and I feel like I also got so many mes messages of um, Instagram. They don't know how to do that and this and that. And I just say, okay, just pray, pray for trust and pray that you can trust God more. Mm -hmm. Trust is actually like the base of everything. If you don't trust God, it's, yeah, who you're gonna trust, as I said. Like, like when we talk about faith, true faith means holding nothing back. Like you just literally putting everything to God and you're just not holding something back because you think he, mm -hmm. he doesn't got you. Just you put everything to God, even though you don't know the outcome, you still know that this is the right way. So many people are saved just because of their faith. For example, Abraham or Moses. Faith is actually everything. Like everything of your, in general, like talking about God, it's just faith and trust the most important thing. Because by faith, you will get into heaven, honestly. So um, be patient and just wait is also a big thing that's connecting with trust. Yeah, because if you don't have a patience if you don't be patient um you actually don't trust in god kind of because you have to be patient you have to wait on god i also situations that we had is um we prayed a lot and a long time for um having christian friends for finding our church yeah and it was like we waited a long time but we waited patiently and we trust in the lord and then one day all of a sudden like this February prayer, prayer got answered and now we have our Christian friends now we have our church just wait and be patient and wait. God is always on the right time God is never too mm -hmm. slow God is never waiting too long he knows in the exact moment what you need so patient and trust is very much connected trust in the Lord means also having patience um, also the story which truly like connect us with like faith and trust this is the story of peter in the story he's walking on water just because he believed that he can then uh, matthew 14 verse 27 to 13 it says but jesus spoke to them at once don't be afraid he said take courage i'm here then peter called to him lord if it's really you tell me to come to you walking on the water so peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward jesus that's only because he had faith in him he just said jesus you know let me walk on water and he literally walked on water just because of his trust just because of his faith um putting in god he could walk on water which is totally insane and i feel like if you trust in the lord you have so much bigger dreams you have so much bigger goals for example walking on water jesus can do it if you put your trust in god you can literally walk on water like if you know god then you have so much like so bigger dreams than a regular guy who doesn't put his faith and trust in god so um also just know that our thoughts are only evil i heard a testimony about it a very good one um i guess he is called johnny if you believe what you think sometimes for example if i if my thought is going to tell me that i'm ugly if you believe that if you believe in your own thoughts in your own self then you are ugly like i'm sorry but if i believe everything that comes into my mind and i know that's not from jesus like everything negative everything just that doesn't you know that just doesn't belong to jesus that is not love then i would literally just be a fool and i would that's also what jesus is saying you're a mm -hmm. fool if you trust in yourself I truly like that don't trust in yourself, trust in Jesus. In the end of the day, trust in Jesus, um, walk in faith. And if you 100% if you put your faith in God, even though you don't know where you're going, also it's the same thing about you being in a tunnel. If you put your faith in God by knowing that he will get you out of there, you got it. I mean, literally, in the Bible stands like so often, wait, like just the word wait. And yeah, just wait and be patient. And then everything will come your way in God's will. Um, but we will just also again um, connect these with some Bible verse that I feel like everybody knows this. When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. This Isaiah 60, 22. If I, the Lord, so that's also connected with trust and be patient. If the time is right, and this means the timing of Jesus and not your timing. 
mm-hmm. only the timing of Jesus. Remember if everything or if anything seems impossible, remember that for the Lord it's impossible. It's impossible. For the Lord it's possible because Jesus doesn't move situationally, he moves generationally. Mm-hmm. I oh. hear that. Oh. This well now. <laughs> This is wow. Yeah, so at the end, I hope you guys like this video. It's now, yeah, the end. Yeah. And I hope you guys, as I said, liked it. And yeah, just put on some topics in the comments and have a blessed day wherever you are. Stay blessed. And just remember that Jesus loves you and always. he loves Jesus. And always um, forever. Yeah. So yeah, see you Much guys love. in the next video.